a tree has fallen in the water or you see stumps sticking out of the water and you're four, five, six, seven, eight feet, and I'm in the fall, by the way, it is, I'm in October, okay? And if you see a spot like this, guys, listen, you may not be perfect at doing this, but just get up there. If you just follow my simple instruction, just act like you know what you're doing, okay? You may not even know what in the world you're doing at all, okay? Just act like you know what you're doing. All right, I'm going to get this boat still somehow or another. I'm going to use my foot probably and stick it out there, okay? And let me see if I can get this boat still. I know we're going to have some wind coming up here real soon. Now, listen, don't, I'm, the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because I'm keeping my, 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 myself sharp because I'm waiting on the, the, the temperature to fall. Okay, I'm waiting on the big girls. But meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in here and just have some fun with these little rascals. Okay, I'm running a 132nd. Okay, I'm running a 132nd and I'm running my stingers. Okay, and I'm just going to come over here and see if I can have some luck. Just like that. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The first time I put it in the water. The first time I put it in the water. Look at this. Let me turn you guys around. The first time I put it in the water. Let me show you what I caught him off of. Just by changing a little bit your print in the water. I'm going to go into my cutaway a little bit later. Guys, this is simple fishing. I just act like I know what I'm doing. Okay? All I do, you don't really have to do anything. Just lower that, that 9, 10 foot yank stick in the water. Look, I'm running that Monkey Milk Stinger 1.5. It changes my print in the water. It may even look smaller than a tube, okay? Because it's a stinger. That's that monkey milk. And I'm using that nasty bin hook, that 132nd, and it falls, okay? It falls. Look, I'm on a tip of the day. Look, to get that smell, you know, I, I had that, um, I had that, uh, those, those, those little bites on there, those little niblets on there, but I'm gonna use the scent of the crappie. Let me release him. I'm not gonna keep the dead, okay? We're gonna let him go. I'm going to put another one on there. Okay, we're trying to decide if in fact that the niblets work or they don't work. That's what we're trying to figure out today. Okay, this is very, listen, let me, let me, let me on my cutaway, I got so much to say to you guys. On my cutaway, I'm just going to give it to you just as you see it. I'm not doing anything different, guys. I'm not doing anything special. All I'm doing is pulling up and look. This is where I got my pole mark at six feet, but I'm running about six and a half, six and three quarters. The reason why I loop it out there, and I, that one thirty second, it falls slow in the water column. Okay, and listen, I extended this foregrip right here, so you hold here. Okay, and you can. This is carbon fiber, so it is a super, super conductor. You feel any little bite that you have on here, and this backbone is strong. I'm supposed to be taking this 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 ten footer down and catch, catching some sheephead down in in the Atlantic real soon. I test my products more than you guys can ever do. Let's pull back up, guys, and let's see if we can have some more fun. Listen, what I'm using, I'll show you that during the cutaway. Let me put another niblet on there. What is that old saying? Sometimes, guys, it pays to have a little bit of luck on your side. Look. I'm using that chartreuse niblet, okay? Let me show you guys a little tip that I did. Whenever I open my jar up, I don't peel the paper off. I let the paper stay on, okay? Because that will help keep the moisture in there. If you don't use these for a while, they'll dry out on you, okay? Let me put that right there. So I just barely peel back just a little bit. Look at the niblets, okay? I got this color and I got the pink. Okay, so you decide whichever one you want. They also make a sparkle. Sparkle actually was my favorite, but I couldn't locate it. I'm going to get back up there again. Look, I, play, I don't place mine on the point. I place mine on the hook, on the back side of the hook. Okay, let's back up a little bit. And we're in October. And y'all going to laugh at this when I tell you this. Just pull up and act like you know, know what you're doing. Just do what I'm, what I'm showing you how to do. You get that 9-foot or that 10-foot yank stick, 
okay? And my stinger's off of camscrappyhole.com, okay? I even have it in a kit. Watch this. All I'm going to do, guys, is just toss it in there. Let me make sure I got you guys so you can see me real good, okay? All I'm going to do is just toss it in there and just let it fall. That's all I'm doing. I may even give a little jiggle or not, okay? Remember, I rubbed it down with that slime that comes, comes off, of the, off of that crap. Look at that. Yank. Look at that. Guys, this is simple. I just started vertical jigging. And what I'm doing, listen, what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the big girls to come out. Okay? It's still not time. I'll be trolling with minnows and that two-inch stinger shad. But in the meanwhile, I'm keeping my knife sharp by coming out here and catching some of these little rascals. Look. Just by lowering my print in the water to a 1.5. Look at that. I'm going to get some more from him, okay? I'm going to get some more of that slime off of him. That camouflages my fingerprints and also it camouflages, okay, that plastic smell. You know how hard that slime is to come off of there. Let's, let's let him go. Wind done picked up a little bit, but that's all right. We're going to pull back up there. I'm going to get another niblet and I'm going to put him on there. And today's video, guys, we're just trying to figure out if, in fact, that these niblets work. That's what we're trying to figure out. that wind remnants from the hurricane okay it's on up the eastern seaboard coastline but we're still getting some of the remnants from it let me put this right here for right now screw that top on put it back down in there I'll put it right on there on the back side of that hook right there some of you guys like covering the hook if you like covering the hook that's your thing okay you're the captain of your own ship look at that look how far we drifted let me show you how far we drifted let me see if I can turn the camera around. Look at that. Look at that. Just that, just that quick. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up on this side of, of the tree and I'm going to let the boat just lean right into it so we won't have to keep repositioning. I'm going to make a little noise. And, and listen, I also want to mention this to you. Um, guys, we also have this stinger in a kit too. Okay, if you're not sure what color to get, I have it in a kit. You can buy them separately in a 40 pack or you can buy them as a kit. I think I got you guys. I'll be able to see in a minute. All right. There we go. We're going to disturb them a little bit. Sometimes, generally, guys, whenever you pull three or four crappy out like this, sometimes you'll spook them and they'll hold. Okay. I'm just going to let the wind just kind of push me right up against there, and I'm just going to stay still right here. Let me make sure you guys are right on me, okay? Let me make sure you're right on me. Let's go back in. Now the wind has died down a little bit. Let's go right, right, right back down in there again. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something. You have got to get that monkey mill. You've got to get that stinger, that 1.5 stinger, and just try it. Okay? Just try it. Look at that number four nasty Ben hook. Look at that. <laughs> I, listen, I know they're sitting down there. Okay? And let me tell you what's getting ready to happen. In about another two weeks, the crappie are going to be in all this big water. We're going to start trolling somewhere around 5 o'clock, okay? And under, under the cover of darkness, then we're going to catch those big 15, 16, 17, and 18-inch crappie. But right now, guys, I'm having a ball. I am having a ball. Look at that crappie. We got some of the slime off of her, okay? Let's release her. Let's get us another crappie niblet, put it on. And let me mention this to you guys while I got you here, okay? Listen, do not forget at Cam's Crappy Hole, we got Afterpay. It allows you to break your kit up or your items up, your shopping cart up into payments. No interest, no credit check. Okay, it allows you to do that. That's my finance company. Okay, so let's say if you decide to get a rod and a reel and a kit, 
Okay. Whoa, yank! Ooh. I can't even talk to you guys. I can't even talk to you. Man, because I am having a blast. Hey, let's do this. Let's see what happens. I'm going to lower this back down in there without the crab, crappy niblet. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, okay? Without the crappy niblet. Let's see if that little advantage helps us out at all. Pull it over this way. Remember, I'm running that monkey milk with that hot pink, no, one thirty second, number four, nasty bin hook. Oh man, we had another bite. Let's get back down there again. I'm running at about six and a half, seven feet. Okay, let's try it again. It looks like with those nibblers. That it appears that he inhales it more. Looks like he may hold on to it a little bit more. When I'm pulling it up, I can feel the sticks and the branches that they're hiding out down there. In. I can feel it. The 132nd falls very, very slow versus the 116. Oh! <laughs> Let's see if I'm a little bit biased. Let's see what happens when we put that niblet back on. Okay, now, you know what they say about opinions, okay? I'm just going to give you guys what you just saw with your own eyes, okay? Um, I brought... I brought I bought both colors because I didn't, some days they may want to hit chartreuse, some days they may want the hot pink. Uh, the colors that I normally use are the sparkling red and the sparkling silver, okay? Um, it, it, on those days when it looks like they're stubborn, I would use these, okay? Um, they work. So again, you guys heard me say, um, I'm just sharpening my knives in my drawer so that when the crappie are getting ready to bite in big water it'll be time to catch the big ones and also I want to tell you guys this the big crappie I'm not interested in keeping you'll see me fish you're gonna see me release a lot of big crappie this year because I already got nine crappie in the freezer from 14 and three quarters all the way up to 18 inches that are going to the taxidermy okay so right now I'm just bypassing time okay by doing this so um, you guys know how to reach me if you have any comments. Um, a lot of times, guys, it's hard for me since I'm running seven platforms to get around the comments. Uh, one of my cool, cool, good friends, Be Rich, you guys will see him in my room sometime. I'm trying to get that brother to go ahead and release his own channel. Um, but he generally, he, he answers some of the questions for me. Um, listen, also, if you guys get a chance, I have a community. We're, we're almost 16,000 in our community. Go to Cam's Crappy Whole Community on Facebook. Come there and check us out. Post what you what you catch around the country. If you got some jigs, hand ties you want to sell, you can sell them on there free of charge, okay? Uh, also, I need some moderators in there as well. Uh, we got some real cool cats that are helping us keep our community clean. This isn't my community. It's everybody's community, okay? So no matter what type of fish you catch, come on in and join us, guys. Check the refrigerator. I always keep something to eat, something to drink in the refrigerator when you come into camp, scrappy hole. You'll enjoy it, man. Just sit through and flip through, you know, as long as you don't, there isn't any profanity, no adult situations, none of that stuff, because kids come in there and look around, and I don't want any, any of that. As you guys know, on my channel, there's no profanity, no adult situations. Uh, I don't believe in that. Um, kids got enough to face on their own as it is growing up. So fishing is fishing, okay? So you'll never hear that type of language on my channel either, as long as I've been doing this seven years. You can see I'm butted up against this tree. This is an 80-foot poplar tree, so I was catching them right down there, 
okay? So this tree is four years old, it's been in the water, so the water's starting to break it down year after year. So I would recommend those, all right? Uh, we don't sell those, but what we do sell, guys, is our own plastics. You can see I'm using the monkey milk right now, okay? Also on board, I got that black and chartreuse, okay? So right now I'm sticking with what works for me. I'm not going to, you know, leave fish to go find fish. I'm running monkey milk with that pink jig here. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you right now. Okay, there we go. Let me open it up a little bit. Okay. And listen, let me tell you this. They may want this 1.5 inch stinger versus a tube. A tube may look like it's too much of a meal for them. You got to remember the crop you're changing. So if you go to your same hole where you've been catching them at and you're not having no luck, don't think they're biting. It's just their habits have changed. Okay. So that's what's happening right now. That's that monkey milk, okay? With that pink 132nd, number four, nasty bin hook, okay? You can go right down to the camscrappyhole.com and you can pick it up, all right? It comes with, the kit comes, if you buy 30, if you spend $35 or more, you get free shipping. And on the other one, on my other 10 foot yank stick, by the way, I want to tell you guys, I never come out here twice with the same hook, I always, Use a brand new hook every time that I come out. On the other one, if I wasn't having any luck with that, I went with the um, Black and Chartreuse Stinger. Now listen, don't get this confused with the Stinger Shad. Okay? Don't get this confused with the Stinger Shad. The Stinger Shad is 2 inches. This is 1.5. It's slimmer. Less presence in the water. Okay? All these you can get at camscrappyhole.com. And you guys heard me mention earlier, in camscrappyhole.com, we got shop pay. I'm sorry, we got after pay. In Cam's Crappy Combos, if you want to build your rod and reel or you want to go there, you, like, you want a larger selection of kits, go to Cam's Crappy Combos. My finance company in both of those stores will break each item, your whole entire basket, up into four easy payments. Okay? So let's say if you got something that's $100. Only thing that's due at checkout when you're checking out like you normally do is $25. The other three payments will be due bi-weekly and we'll notify you via phone, via text, that your next payment is due. Okay? You check out like you normally do with your debit card, your credit card, Google Pay, PayPal, however you choose, but you go through Afterpay. Okay? So you use your same card. All right? Let me show that to you. So all I'm doing, guys, is just holding tight and just waiting uh, for the big girls to come in. All right? And by the way, let me show you what I'm using. This is my cams. This is simple fishing. I got two rods, but I only, one, I only run one rod at a time. This is my cams yank stick. This is a 10 footer. Okay, pure carbon fiber. It's white, faded to blue. You see that? And my nine footers are white, faded to red. Okay? And it comes with a reel. And it comes with free shipping. Surefire bail. Seven ball bearing reel, Fuji reel seat, soft to the touch EVA split grip. Plus, on top of that, guys, look at this. Detail is what it's all about when you're crappie fishing. Look, look. You even got a hook holder. Okay? That's how precise I am. So, this is quite possibly the last 10 foot rod that you'll ever buy. Okay? Plus, it comes with free shipping and you can, you can use it on Afterpay or Shop Pay. Okay? So, I'm running my 10 footers today. So that's what I'm dealing with, guys. Listen, if you have any questions, you can reach me right down there in the direct message. Um, the kits, if you can't decide what color that you want, if you want both, the monkey milk, you want the chartreuse, uh, I think the monkey milk is sold separately. But if you want an array of different colors, you'll see it right here, top left-hand corner, my kit. It comes with the hardware, and it comes with four different colored plastics. I picked those colored plastics out. Those are some of my pop, most popular selling plastics that are in there. The Stinger. 1.5 Stinger, or you can go with the 1.5 tube. Whichever one that you think that you have more confidence in. And this is what I want you guys to do before we get back to fishing. Just listen. Just, what is that old saying? Fake it till you make it. All right? Just get out there and act like you know what you're doing. Find the branches. Find the tree stumps. And if you're fishing about four, five, six feet of water, seven feet of water, just lower it right down in there. Okay? And just barely twitch it. That's all you got to do. And you'll feel that thump. That's why I extended the rod, the forehandle. Okay, and all of my rod and reels guys are counterbalanced just like this. 
okay? They're counterbalanced. So you won't have to worry about, hey man, this rod is just, just that heavy for me. It's equivalent to three pair household scissors. That's how light this thing is, okay? It's balanced just like that. You see all of my rods are balanced like that, okay? So let's get back out there, guys. Let's get ready to do, do a little bit more fishing. And thank you guys so much for the love and support and coming by and seeing me. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Watch me yank a few more fish out of here. Yank! Remember, I'm at about I'm at about six and three quarters. Okay. The dogs are right here asleep, right up underneath my my feet. Look at that! Oh! Now let me say this. It appears to me that they are biting faster with the niblets on there. Okay? It, is, it just appears that they're biting faster. Let's try it again. And you guys can decide whether you want to go out with the niblets or without the niblets. It's up to you. Make sure you guys can see. Big yank! Here we go. Look at that. Apparently these niblets, guys, these niblets work. Listen, what is that old saying? That's why they offer so many colors. That's why they offer so many colors and jig heads and plastics and hooks because crappie will bite one thing one minute and in the next they'll bite something else. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. And look, I still got my niblet. Let's release him. That's that number four nasty bin hook. Let's get back down there again. Okay, I'm, I'm fishing standing timber. Okay, I'm fishing timber that is in the water. And it looks like they're holding very, very tight towards structure. Very tight. They're not out there in the big water. Yank! Look at that. Okay, guys, this is what I'm gonna do. Wow, I'm running, I'm running that chartreuse niblet. Okay, let me go ahead and get this fish off. Let me show him to you, and I'm gonna go to a cutaway, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're using. Let me get a little bit of that slime, big boy. Let me tell you this, guys. In about three years, this is go this fish here. You're gonna want to take him home. He's gonna be 12 inches, if not better. Okay, let's release him. Let me borrow a little bit of that, that slime again. This is what they call, this is a black crappie. Okay, you see those down in Florida, they call them specks. You can see why with all the specks on them. Let's let him go. Wow, we're having a good time. We let him settle down a little bit. Look at that, yank! Look at that. <laughs> Guys, this is how you keep your game sharp. Now let me let me tell you something. If you were keeping, if you were keeping, um, a couple of these are going to come out and they're going to be big ones. Okay, they're going to be 12, 12 and a half inches. But right now we're not even concerned with size. We're just passing the time away. It's just like skipping rocks, skipping rocks across the lake. You're just out here having a good time. You're not even looking for anything in particular. That's all we're doing. Stick that bad boy right. I, I do mine on the back of the hook. I don't do mine on the point. Unless you want to do it on the point, that's fine. You're the skipper. Okay, you do whatever you want to do. And it looks to be that they're very close to the timber. So we're not going far out there. And you have to make little mental notes where the fish are. Look at that. Yank! Look at that. Now, see, this is a good eating crappie. <laughs> Listen, let me let me turn you guys around. I want to say this to you guys. By the way, this is a great way to end this segment. Um, I want to tell you guys this. I'm nobody special. I just started vertical jigging just recently. Okay? I enjoyed it so much that I created my own pole. That's the only difference. Okay? I like it just that much. All right, that's a perfect eating size crappie. If I was catching, if I was keeping, I would take him home with me. Okay, um, listen, I come out. Look, look, I got on flip flops and socks. It's a southern thing. Okay, and I come out here and I just have a good, good time. 
Okay, that's all that I do. I think I'm going to catch a few more. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Let's let him go. I'm going to continue to catch some more guys. Perfect way to end the segment. Thank you guys so much. Remember, keep those hooks wet. Keep those, line, keep those lines tight. And we'll see you on the next turn.